What's up guys, Mr. Zack here. Welcome back to Pack and Zack. You smell me. What's up with my boy? What's up, man? Happy birthday. Thank Happy you. birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pac-Man. Happy birthday to you. Well, thank you. Are you wishing? Are you wishing for a Bengals win? Yes, I am. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard out here. It's hard. When you score, when you score 33 points, you're expected to win the game. Um, when your quarterback yeah. go 20, 29. For 38, for 324 yards and three touchdowns, you're expected to win the game. And we came short. Yeah. Uh, Shannon Sharp came out and said Joe Burrow wasn't good enough to win that game. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, come on. Like, what do you mean he wasn't good enough? It was three, he had 324 passing yards. We gave up the game because we weren't good enough on defense. Fucking clipbait, bro. Clipbait. Yeah. Uh, Chris Canty said the same thing. I don't know what the fuck people are watching. I don't know I don't, how you I, came I, I away from either. that game thinking anything with Joe Burrow or Jamar Chase or anything like that had to do with that loss. Um, They didn't punt once. Was, yeah, and... Obviously, if he know football, we was on pressure on all of those deep balls. He got double moved on the one. It was a zero blitz. He got the blitz got to get there. He should, shouldn't be able to get a double move off. Uh, neither here and there. Stay the fuck back. They got to score a touchdown to win the game. What are we, what are we doing here? Even if they get yeah. three right there, we still up. But you don't give away the home run ball uh, right there. Can't do it. And I don't understand how the hell Joe Burrow performance have anything to do with this loss. Zero. Zero punts. Zero punts. Zero. Yeah. Um, it seems like, yeah, man, I the, the Chiefs game, the defense played well, but this time, just no pass rush. None. Zero. Zero, literally zero. zero. Daniels could have baked a cake, made dinner, fuck it, done whatever. He played great. Hey, bro, Rookie he scored on every possession, out. bro. Yeah, every possession out. they scored. Like not much resistance. He came in, though. He came, you know what I'm just saying he came and lit this motherfucker up. He yeah. scored on every possession. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was, I'm like, that damn, is we gonna stop crazy. him one time? We gotta <laughs> stop him game? one time, man. It was the first game since, like, 1956 without a fourth down or a punt. Yes, bro. It was. That was a, I saw him was. I saw nuts. him to take, took Junie to the game. You know, he liked the Monday nights. He wanted to go down on the field. And he's like, damn, Dad, we ain't got to stop yet. Yeah, you're right, <laughs> man. It's tough. It was a tough night for the Bengals. Real tough yeah. night. Real yeah. Real tough. Uh, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll get into their matchup in a little bit later. It was also a tough day for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, America's team get blown out by Baltimore. Well, not blown out. They came back a little bit in the fourth, but, you know, rough start. They end up losing a week after getting uh, blown out by New Orleans. Uh, Jerry Jones came out. He said, it's fair to blame me. Can the Cowboys turn it around? It's definitely not Jerry Jones. It's the whole entire defense. Um, they can't cover nobody right now. And they can't tackle no goddamn body. And Z Zim, hey, Zim, I said the Dallas Cowboys would be good because of you. Let's get this shit together. Let's, let's get it together. We've given up 500 yards. Two, I mean, 300 and 90 rushing yards in the last two weeks. We got to tackle somebody. We can't even rush the passer because we, we can't even get it. We behind the sticks. Yeah. Got to tackle somebody. Yeah. This ain't goddamn Jerry fault. Jerry don't put on pads. Jerry can't run. On paper, they um, are a good team. 
Yeah. They Probably need to the play worst like defensive tackle group I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Micah the offense and good. Lawrence can only do so much. Yeah, the offense the is offense fine. The offense is playing good. They, they decent. They decent. They in a, they in a lot, lot of the top fives and everything. Yeah, well, th- they need more explosion uh, besides CD, right? Because they're not letting him get open deep, and then Cooks is 32. Um, They need a little bit of oomph. But, uh, yeah, it's not it's not Dak's fault. It's not the offense's fault. It's squarely on the, the defense. It's totally on the defense. Yeah. Like, this ain't no other question about this. Like, you can't win games like that, giving up 4.5 yards a carry. It's impossible. No, you cannot. Nope, nope. Derrick Henry it's looked impossible. like it was uh, 2019. Yes, impossible. That was crazy. Impossible. Crazy. Uh, they, they got a game this Thursday. It'll get really, really, really ugly in Dallas if they don't win this one. Cowboys at Giants Thursday night football. Pack, what do you think is going to go down? I like the over. Over? I like the over. I like the Cowboys, but I like the over. I think it goes over 44 points because guess why? The Cowboys ain't stopped nobody all year. No. All year. No. And Jones, he don't look good, but he got some guys that's out there playing pretty good. I don't um, know what to think of Daniel Jones. He got one good receiver. He got one great receiver. One great receiver. And some yeah. of them throws that Daniel Jones made, if it would have been anybody else, those would not be catches or touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah. Like. We've got the Odell effect. Yeah, he do. He He's special. He's a little special, I will say. I'm really, really, really worried for Dallas if Devin Singletary does what Derrick Henry and Alvin Kamara just did. It's possible. We're getting into, like, are we firing coaches almost if they implode for a third straight game? Well, I'm saying it's early in the season. It's still early. Yeah, but heads are going to roll. It's still early, though. Heads are literally going to roll. I don't think the Cowboys are at where they are fine coaches yet. They are one and two. They win one, one more game. They back at 500. Um, yeah, no, no, no. If they win, they're fine. Um, if What happens, what happened in Green Bay to end the season, what happened in New Orleans, what happened against Baltimore, happens against the Giants, the seat gets hot. Yeah, it do. Where... We're looking at the bye week, and we're saying, hmm. Hmm. Is, they just paid the quarterback $60 million a year. CD gets $36 million a year. Mike is waiting, right? You're all in. You, you've got these, these three cornerstones that you've built the franchise around. You've got a, a coaching staff that uh, you invested in this offseason. You, you bring in Zimmer, who's got a you know great resume. Um, yeah, heads are going to roll. It's, uh, you know... <laughs> Nobody's got more fans than the Cowboys. But <sighs> offense is doing good. Head coach called the offensive plays. Zim got to figure this shit out. Here, point blank. And yeah. he'll figure it out. Yeah. But they're giving up way too many points. They're horrible in the run. Um, Juni can go out and have 100 yards against them right now. They all lock the yeah. gaps. Um, guys are just trying to make sacks instead of being in the gaps. In, a, in Zim defense in that 4 3, you have to be in your gaps. Period, point blank. If you ain't in your gap, it's going to keep going. Yeah, uh, they've also but, got, like, speaking of Juni, they've got, like, an almost a make-a-wish situation at running back. Why is Deuce Vaughn getting carries at five foot five? Did I miss, like, that he was part of make-a-wish? And I, I feel fucked up if that's the case, right? Like, if there's, like, some sort of sickness that's getting him out there, I'm sorry. But there has to be an NFL running back that can do more than five foot four Deuce Vaughn, who has seven carries for fourteen yards. Like, why yeah. are we pretending like Deuce Vaughn is an? Because we might as well get Junie out there. We might as well put him in pads, tell him to go underneath the player's legs, and say, "Fuck it, let's roll." 
Because <laughs> that's basically what Deuce Vaughn can do. He looks like a child. And his father's in the scouting department, which makes it way worse. I've never seen yeah. nepotism in the running back room. What is going on? Are we going to put yeah, McCarthy's yeah. daughter at backup quarterback? I mean, what the fuck is this? <laughs> he is small. He is small. And, and if it's make a wish, I, I'm sorry, but you, you, we can't afford the roster spot. You, you got to get him out. Like, like he's got to make a different wish. Because if it's not make a wish, then then you, we, we got to adjust the running. We got to bring Dalvin Cook. There's no way Deuce Vaughn is bringing more value than Dalvin Cook. No way. There's no shot in fucking hell. That's ridiculous. Not even. What world no are way. we in? Jesus Christ. Um, so that, that's like the most puzzling thing, uh, going on out there. Um, I'm going Giants plus four and a half. Um, I think this is a, uh, I think they cover. I think it's a, uh, close game. I, I, I don't think Dallas has the capability on defense to stop anyone for too long. I just, I don't know. Even the offense can only do so much. So yeah, I like, uh, Giants plus four and a half. By the way, I went eight and zero last week. So if you're betting, eight um, no. I I hope you cleaned up. Eight no, y'all heard what my boy said. Falcons, saying. yeah, that that was nuts against the spread. Holy shit! Um, yeah. Saints Falcons at Atlanta. Atlanta minus one. Saints coming off a tough loss against Philly. Atlanta coming off a tough loss against KC. A lot of people picked these two teams to win the division. Now they're playing. Pack. Who do you like? Ha, ha, this is a division game, too. Ha. I don't know, man. Kirk has been playing so good. They was a play away from winning that game last week against they a were. very uh, high-powered, star starter offense with the brains of Andy Reid. Ha. I don't know. I like the Saints. I like the Saints. I like the Saints to go down in Atlanta. I'm sorry. Saints have one of the best defensive lines there is in the NFL right now. And collectively, if they plan together, I think they can they can be pretty good this year. Came off a tough tough one last week. But um I'm gonna go with the Saints. I'm gonna go with the Saints plus one. It's a it's a close game. Division game, people. Remember that. Division game. Division game. It's gonna get chippy, it always does. I look at the Saints, and they were so close to winning that Eagles game. I mean, the Eagles needed superhuman effort from Jalen Carter. Jalen Carter was the best player in the NFL last Sunday. I watched that game. He was everywhere. He was batting everything down. He was rushing Derek Carr every single play. He was stuffing the run. I couldn't believe. Jalen Carter looked at Aaron Donald. Okay? That's the type of effort you need to stop the Saints offense. Derek Carr missed a couple by a few inches to Shahid. I think that gets corrected. I think the Saints win on the road in Atlanta. Bills. Fucking Bills a good team. The overrated thing is not even working, is it? Huh? No. The more I come back no. from being dead on the field, have a pick on Monday night football. First dead guy to ever Bills. get a pick. The are Bills. Are, are we penciling the Bills in? Oh, no. They've got to be the favorites good. right now. Uh, they're fucking destroying teams. Yes. I mean, they're like really railroading him. And Stefan Diggs, um, I thought they would miss him. No love lost. Because Josh yeah. Allen's like, fuck that. I got Khalil Shakir. I've got Dalton Kincaid. Uh, I got James Cook. And that's all I need. I'll go yeah. score, you know, 47 real quick on the Jaguars. Fuck it. Speaking of Jags, woo! I don't know, I don't know if that investment was worth it. Oh, the Peterson's was. gone. The, mm. the Peterson's gone. Taylor's gone. Uh, yeah. Sun cost fallacy. You can't get rid of the quarterback, but he does not look good. Yeah, he he didn't look good. All right, no. Bills, Ravens, Bills plus two and a half. Who you got in this one, Zach? Man, this is tough. So at Baltimore, right, coming off a lot of confidence against Dallas. Buffalo's got to go on the road. 
I'm going to go Bills plus two and a half. Josh Allen keeps it rolling. This is going to be a tough game. This is a chippy game. You, you got two of the best young quarterbacks in the game. You got two very tough defenses. The Bills do a great job of eliminating the deep pass. It is very hard to get anything deep uh, going downfield. They do a very good job on the boundary. You can get a little bit of slot work, right? Christian Kirk found some room, but uh, Brian Thomas Jr., Gabe Davis, couldn't get much going at all. So I see it being a tough game for his A Flowers. I think you're going to have to get likely going, get, I don't know where Mark Andrews is at. I don't know. I don't know if he needs <laughs> insulin or, or, or a Snickers bar or something, because he is nowhere to be found. All right? Um... So I, I, um, you might have to, you know, shoot him up with something because Jesus Christ, he's not even on the field. That's some no. crazy shit, Pack. But uh, I got Bills plus two and a half. Sorry, I'm taking the Ravens. If the Bills win this game, we'll be talking about them as Super Bowl contenders. But Derrick Henry got that bitch last week, and he 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 he. Or if if was but if the Bills if the Bills win this game we will we will be talking about them um, playing in February. This is gonna be a hard game on the road against a very good team. Yeah, and very hard. it ain't it ain't easy to win in Baltimore. It's very not hard. easy to win in Baltimore. I'm taking the Ravens. Ravens, let's go! Come on, birds! I'm looking closely at the first quarter. That'll tell me a lot. Yeah. The Ravens are a time of possession team. They play and once they get a lead, they're almost impossible to come back on. So if the Bills can start hot, they, they can make they can, you know, get rolling on the road. But yeah, the first quarter, very, very important. This next very game's important. a great one. Vikings Packers with the return of Jordan Love at Lambo. Yeah, Jordan Love's coming back. Jordan Love's coming back. Yeah. That's why they're favored here. So you think he's coming back this week? Yeah. I think Vegas knows that. They cooked that into the odds. Because they're minus two and a half, and the Vikings just thrashed the, the Texans. I mean, Brian Vikings Flores good team. Is, is, has to be the front runner for position coach of the year. You know, assistant coach of the year. I mean, what he's done with this Vikings defense to make it top three unit in the NFL mm -hmm. is ridiculous. Um, no one else is playing the Shanahan offenses nearly as well. He's confusing everything. You got CJ Stroud on the sidelines saying, what's going on? I haven't seen this before. Uh, Sam Darnold is dealing like an early MVP candidate. Uh, Jay Jettas is Jay Jettas. We know what he does. They don't even have Jordan Addison or TJ Hawkinson. They're not even loaded up, Pac. No. Nah. No, nah, they're not. But... Green Bay coaching staff have showed that they're a really good coaching staff uh, with doing this stuff with Willis coming in. Shout out to shout out to my boy Willis, West Lake yeah. High School graduate too. Play really good while he got the chance to shine. Yeah, he West did, Lake, bro. West he Lake. He a lot of haters wrong. Yes, he did. He did. He played really good um, against his former team. Yeah, yeah. So shout out, shout out, shout out to my boy. But ah. Uh, this is a hard one right here. This is a hard game right here. The Vikings are playing so good, bro. So good. I'm going with the Vikings plus two and a half. Yeah, I'm, I'm going Packers minus two and a half. Oh, shit. And I feel like a hater. I just, I, Darnold has to slow down at one point, right? He's got to yeah. give one to Jair. Yeah. yeah. Just one. I don't know. It just, it, it's got to slow down. Right? I mean, unless I the Vikings are going to go fucking 15-2. and two. Jesus Man, Christ. He, Donald is throwing that thing right now, bro. He's dealing to Jalen Naylor. I mean, throwing it. Because they're not, I mean, they don't, uh, it's like, you know, he has half his supporting cast. Yes. I don't, I think the Vikings have been the biggest surprise out of any team in the NFL. Yeah, because you would think they would double just uh, Jefferson, but they don't even want to double him. You can't. Not well, I, don't know, I don't know how you go into a game plan and do not say, all right, we're taking this motherfucker off the bus immediately once we walk out, out on this field. There's going to be two guys with him everywhere he goes. Yeah, that's what Belichick would do. 
Yeah. Yeah. If it was Belichick, he would do that, and then he would put Jair on the Vikings too, which would be Naylor. Um, that's what he did when he got Darrell Revis to New England. He'd put Revis in the number two. He would double up the number one. And people couldn't do shit, right? They won the Super Bowl. Um, yeah. That I think that would be the optimal strategy. Yeah, I think you put two guys on uh, Jefferson, and then you put Jair in the number two, and then you force Donald to go to anyone else. You got Aaron Jones out of the backfield doing everything in the goddamn red zone. Jesus Christ, the Vikings are good. Uh, yeah, Steelers, are. Colts at Indy. Steelers minus two. You ain't got to announce who the head coach is. I mean, the starting quarterback, because we already know. We know it. Justin Field will not come off the goddamn field not nope. one time this year. Unless nope. he get hurt. They're yep. 3-0. And they're going to be 4-0 yep. after they go down here and beat the shit out of Indy. Yep. Um, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Steelers are playing good football right now. Mike Tumlin got them boys rolling. And, uh, yeah, black and yellow. Black and yellow is looking pretty good. I don't think the Colts can have enough firepower if just to keep playing the way they're playing. The defense is playing good. The running game is, is good. Um, I like the Steelers. I like the Steelers minus, minus um, two. Two. Yeah, it's hard not to pick the Steelers because Anthony yeah, Richardson is. is struggling bad. Um, They beat the Bears not due to him. He had some terrible turnover. Jonathan Taylor had some big plays, and I'm a huge fan of Anthony Richardson, so it's tough for me to say. Um, The Steelers' defense, you would have to imagine, is going to have a field day. Yeah. They look great. Um, led good. by T.J. Watt, obviously, but but no one's been able to do much. The Steelers are three and zero, which I, I don't think T.J. Watt look like he's twenty one into the season. Yeah, T.J. Watt's ridiculous, and you know we know that family. Sick. But Jesus Christ. Um, I, I gotta go to Steelers minus two based off what I've seen, but Richardson has magic to him. There's something to him when he drops back, where you know. He can make any play on the field. He can make the dumbest play in the world, or he can make the best play in the world on any given Sunday. So we're going to have to wait and see what Anthony Richardson shows up because he does some incredible things where he'll line it up from his own 20 and throw it to the fucking team's five. Yeah. Or he'll be at the five-yard line and throw it into triple coverage for no reason. No idea why he threw that ball. Probably one of the worst balls I've ever seen. I I, I don't know. Oh, the jerseys no, no, weren't but... similar at all. He, he went, Ooh, and... The guy looked surprised. Like, he actually almost dropped it because he was so surprised and went right into his hands. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Jesus Christ. Anthony Richardson, uh, must watch TV. Must watch. Must watch, baby. He's prime time. Yes. Blockbuster. He's got that Jameis to him, dude. He's way more athletic. He's got the legs. Way more athletic. But his decision making, he's got the Jameis where he can make any play happen, but he's liable to maybe throw 30 picks in a season. So, that's what makes him fun. Uh, this next one, wow, I never thought we would say this. Andy Dalton seeking revenge, oh taking on the Bengals. Oh. <laughs> Andy Dalton against the Bengals in 2024 is nuts. <laughs> hey, uh, if the Bengals can hit us, hey, let's disguise some coverages this week. Let's not just go out there and line up in the coverage. Please do that for me, and we'll win this game. This will be the Bengals' first win. Yeah. This is, um, it's the day before your birthday, too. That would be nice. They better fucking win. They better goddamn win. If Andy Dalton beats the Bengals on your birthday weekend, I think heads, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. That would be a really cruel joke. That would not be a good joke for my birthday. That would be, that would be, that would be really fucked joke. up. That would be yeah. probably the worst outcome to ever happen for you. Yeah, um, especially on are you Are you in a group chat? With your buddies uh, from th those Bengals teams like Perfect and uh, some of your other friends? Oh, yeah. Of course. 
Just are you guys talking, talking about this Andy Dalton versus the Bengals game? Because this is hilarious. Uh, no, that happened all the time. But the Red so Rocket. That Andy just got the starting job now. Yeah, I, we I, but we barely knew he was in the NFL going into the season. I mean, he was there as the backup, but no one. I, I was never expecting this. He's thirty six. It's a little crazy. I had three hundred pat. I mean, three hundred. Uh. What is, uh, Smoked them. Passing yards. Uh, Smoked them. <laughs> Yo, and it he wasn't like even like they rifle. were easy. He was dropping them in small buckets. He makes Bryce Young look like the worst player in the NFL. That was the worst thing to happen to his trade value because 36 year old Andy Dalton shows up and makes the offense look elite. Real new. That was fucking nuts. Chuba Hubbard looked like Walter Payton. Deontay Johnson hit a career high. That was some crazy shit. Yeah. Uh, but over under is we got 48, a guy. We, we got a guy named Judd Bellero. 48. I like the over still. Yeah. Yeah. I see this game going over. Yeah. I... I Lou ha- has a, has got to disguise more shit. Uh, we we got to yeah, we, we got to disguise more. What are we doing here? It's yeah. NFL. Yeah. Got to disguise a little bit. Um, we haven't disguised nothing. No, you have not. There's too much See goddamn how? talent on the Bengals. <laughs> I, I I'm, huh? I'm going Bengals. My, there's too much goddamn talent on the Bengals to to lose again. I'm going Bengals minus four and a half. And Dalton doesn't get his revenge. You I got think Jamar we just start Chase, getting cooking. T. Higgins, just start getting Yoshi, cooking. Zach Moss is playing well. Chase Brown looks good when he gets touches. I, I, I got, I got the Bengals. Go on. Yeah, we just getting going. We are just getting going. I think we're just getting going. Seahawks. Uh, hello, Gino is answering the phone. He's playing pretty good. Seahawks plus four. Going to Detroit, who you was highly about before yeah. the season. Yeah, and they, they got it done against Arizona. I was happy with that. Who you Gino's got? Gino's my man, though. Um, It's going to be very tough for the Seahawks to run. The Lions shut down James Conner. The Lions have the best run defense in the NFL, led by a name that you're very familiar with, Mr. DJ Reader who plugs yes, everything up in the middle. They're going to plug up Charbonnet or, or Kenneth Walk, whoever it is. It's all on Gino's shoulders here. He's going to have to air it out to DK Metcalf, JSN, and Tyler Lockett, right? It's in Detroit. Yeah. I think that's too much. I think the Lions have more at their disposal offensively. I think they're going to be able to run. I think they're going to be able to pass. The Seahawks have played very soft offenses. I'm not sold on their defense. You played Skylar Thompson. You played uh, the Patriots, like... In the Broncos, like I'm just not sold. So I think the Lions give them a taste of reality, pull away in the fourth quarter, cover the four. Hey, the Seahawks are three and zero. Yeah, you are what your record says you are. You are what your record say you are. I'm taking the Seahawks. Gino, <laughs> let's dial this thing up again, baby boy, cause you've been dialing it up. And I like um the over. Over 47 points. I'm If Gino pulls this off in Detroit, we've got to have a discussion that he's a better quarterback than all these guys that got these 50-plus million-dollar-year contracts. Totally agree. Because I've always you said that have. and thought that when I watch football, but it's just going to become a reality for everyone involved. And I'm talking about your Jalen Hurts's, your Tua Tungavailoa's, I think Geno Smith's better at playing quarterback. And he makes $20 million less. And that's allowed the Seahawks to get a lot of talent around him, uh, re-sign DK Metcalf, and, you know, uh, make some moves happen. But, uh, yeah, Geno becoming perennially underrated. So if he pulls that off in Detroit, when I don't think he'll be able to get anything going in the run, that would be phenomenal. Um, yeah. Broncos, Jets, Perk Rogers. Taking on Denver. Have you seen these uh these memes where Roger said he, he he's playing on Percocet? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fraud. I'm fucked yeah, I'm up. Fraud. Yeah, I'm fraud. Yeah, I'm fraud. 
Yeah. Perk Rogers, a mythical quarterback. On the perk, on the Alwas, goddamn throwing him. Yeah. Yeah. Perk Rogers beat the shit out of the Patriots. Perk Rogers is throwing the hell out of that thing, too. They gave him like two thirties minimum. Yeah, probably a 30. He out there. Ooh, 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 feels pretty good. I like the Jets. J E T S. Minus seven at home. Uh, gotta they gotta stop they gotta stop uh Cortland. If they stop Cortland, this sh this shouldn't even be that big of a game. But um, Aaron Rodgers is throwing people over. Even when they are covered, he is putting the ball in places where you can either catch the ball or yes, it's an incomplete pass. So yeah, yeah I like J E T S. Jets, 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 Jets minus seven. 38 and a half, very low over under. I think lowest of the week here. Um, the Broncos got a man named Patrick Sertain. We both had him uh, number one, number two in our corner list. He's going to be on Garrett Wilson. Yep. So Rodgers is going to have to find a way to get the ball to Alan Lazard, get the ball to Tyler Conklin, get the ball to Brees Hall out of the backfield. Rodgers knows how to do that. Okay, no one's better distributing it and getting the ball out fast. But this Broncos secondary... Had a huge fucking week against Tampa. They yeah, walked they in there as big time underdogs. They beat the shit out of Baker. Baker was in hell. Uh, this guy, Brandon <laughs> Jones, an undercover dog, perhaps, uh, gets a pick, gets a fumble recovery, gets six tackles, was everywhere. Brandon Jones. Everywhere. Straight out of Texas. Um, so this Broncos team has a very promising defense. But Bo Nix, you'd have to imagine, is going to have trouble with the Jets defense. Is you got Quentin Williams, and you got CJ Mosley, and you got Quincy Williams, and you got Sauce Gardner, and you just got all these different guys who are there to confuse a young rookie. I got Broncos plus seven. I don't feel good about it, though. Uh, I think they keep it within a possession. I don't like that, though. I don't like that game. You like Bro, the plus don't seven? Don't put that shit in there. Yeah, I like the plus seven, but th that hurts to say, dude. Ooh, I don't know, man. Know. In New York, it's that, gonna to be me, crazy. I, 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 these, I think these that's fans the toughest are game in to love with Aaron Rodgers right now. They it's are. gonna be so goddamn loud in there. It is fucking hell, man. Mm, that's I ain't going one. against just... Molly Percocets. <laughs> Percocets, <laughs> bro. And hey. and the future mixtape just came out to motivate Rodgers coming out of the tunnel. Oh yeah. You no, know, Rogers, me listen to that mixtape Pluto, you might fuck around and have a career game. Perk Rogers get back there. You never know what'll happen. Rogers have one changed more game, the brother. world in New York. Yes. Have changed the world in New York. Yeah, I'm fraud. Um fuck yeah, the um, shout out to Rodgers giving interviews of a retired player while he's still playing. Because who the hell it's else would be an active quarterback talking about how they used to take Percocet before the game? That's legendary. Only Aaron Rodgers can do that. Only he could get away with that shit. Anyone else would not. But Aaron Rodgers, uh, what did Nikki Glaser call him? Throw Rogan? Does whatever the fuck he wants. Ayahuasca? Uh, Perk. He was in a dark room for four Louis. days. Fuck it. I love it. I love everything about it. Do your shit, Aaron Rodgers. The way you want to do it. He's performing good on whatever he on. He do is. Well, shit. This is a good test, though. The Broncos are a good test. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Eagles Bucks at Tampa. A playoff rematch. Eagles minus two and a half. I like the Eagles. Um, I think the defensive backs didn't play good one game, but they're a good defensive back group. Uh, it's just little shit that they got to fix right there with eyes and get your eyes out the backfield. Um, I like the Eagles. Um, I do think Bake, Bake might have a bounce back game. Yeah. He played good at home. 
But I ain't going against the Eagles. And I, I, I like the Eagles. Eagles. Who you got? Uh, some of the most talented players in the NFL. Saquon, Jalen Carter, yep. Jordan yep. Davis. Yeah. Uh, man, you cannot. But, 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 no Devonta Smith. He's concussed. I, I don't see him playing. A.J. Brown, I think they sit him again because they got the bye week next week. Lane Johnson got hurt. I'm not sure what his status is. I see a comeback game for Baker. I think the Bucks have the Eagles number. Baker looked mighty comfortable in that playoff game. He didn't seem like he had a care for the world for what the Eagles secondary had to offer. I like the Buccaneers plus two and a half here at home. I don't know. I don't know. Fucking hell. If Jalen Carter continues that, we're looking at a first team all pro player. Oh, yeah. I yeah. watched the whole. I mean, that was. That you haven't seen that since Aaron Donald. And a little shout out to one more guy before we head out. Dexter Lawrence for the Giants is the most ridiculous fucking thing you'll ever see. He's getting eight plus pressures a game and he's 340 and he is, pounds. He, he, and he is he is a dog. Dog. And a great teammate. Yes. You, you see him, they try to bait him all the time. There's a lot to, to criticize about the, right, the Daniel Joneses and his teammates and all this different drama. He always has, like, the best, most classy responses. And he's a young guy. I would be fucking throwing everyone under the bus. If I was getting that many pressures a game and my teammates were in that, I would say, you know what? Daniel Jones, sometimes he fucking sucks. And I need a better <laughs> team around me. And the owner's stupid and the coach should be fired. And I got three supermodels waiting for me at my New York hotel tonight. That's the vibe I would give off. But Dexter Lawrence is just a good dude. Yeah. Can't do that to a quarterback. You know how I you would. Know. Fuck it. No, no, you can't. You can't. But nah, nah, Dexter yeah. Lawrence, um, uh, top three player in the NFL and a good dude. I'm nominating him for Walter Payton. I just look at his interviews. He's just such a nice guy, and there's so much to be mad about. So, um, yeah, that's my uh, opinion here. I'm, I might get a sexy Dexy jersey. Oh, let's go. 340 sexy pounds. Dexy. He's pass rushing like John Randall. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I, I He's going to get the spotlight this Thursday. I'm sure the Cowboys offensive line will love uh, they, guarding that guy. Yeah, they will. We'll, we'll, yeah, they'll yeah. have a great time. Yeah, the the yeah. rookie center, uh, Cooper Beebe, gr- great test in your fourth game. You get you get, you get Dexter yeah. Lawrence. Make, make sure you got two ten scraps on, my boy. Yeah, he coming. Yeah, 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 he's coming. Yeah. And that's the picks this week. Zach is undefeated last week. Eight picks wins. We pick wins over here. I pick wins. Y'all can follow them on all platform. And the Zach and Pack Show. We appreciate y'all. Without y'all, there's no us. Smell me! This has been Running It Back with Pack and Zach, presented by Bet Online. <laughs>